What's up guys? Yeah, yeah, we're back at it for another one. Yep. And I am still pissed off. I am still mad. The Patriots had no business losing to that team. No business at all. That that score that score should have been 37 to 17 Patriots. There was that was an awful, awful showing. And everybody is looking everybody's looking uh, you know to point the blame and point the finger at something and 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 and, and, and you know you're as a fan you're you're looking for somebody to, to hold accountable. Well I mean I think you need to hold everybody accountable. That game was terrible. Trent Brown played awful. The entire defensive line played awful. The linebackers played terrible that game. But Bill Belichick, Steve Belichick, and the special teams coach, Matt Patricia, Joe Judge, they were just outcoached, outmatched, outclassed, everything about it. They, they, where have our linebacker was one of the biggest linebackers was one of the biggest needs in the offseason. And what did we do? They went out and got a bunch of scrubs. A bunch of scrubs. The middle of the field has been a weakness now for two years. For two years, this has been a weakness of this team. And Bill has not done one thing to fix it. If I'm Bob Cre if I you got to, this is 65% Bill Belichick, 65% Bill and his coaching staff and the other, the and the other, you know, it's his staff. Bill and his staff are 65% of the reason why we lost this game. His ego and his decisions made in the offseason are, are, are killing this team. They're killing this team. Did they not perform well last night? No. They played absolutely horrid. They played absolutely horrid. $124 million on two tight ends. Where have they been all year long? Where the hell have they been all year long? Matt Jones is in his own head. Matt Jones is in his own head. He's picking favorites. He's, he's in his own head. He's his own worst enemy. You know... And to be honest, Bill Belichick did him dirty by not... They did, he did him dirty. The kid has regressed, and Bill has done nothing to help him. Done nothing to help him. That's on him. That one's on you, Bill. And you know what? Like, if he don't like... If he don't like taking heat for his decisions, then maybe you don't need the GM role, Bill. Maybe we need to take that from you. Maybe we need to take that from you. And if you don't like it, then maybe you should leave. This, there, there's, I mean, the decisions made in the offseason were him. Bill's the GM too. Bill's the GM. He's the one that surrounds himself with these glad, happy yes men and, and, instead of people that are going to challenge him, that are going to push him. 65% of this falls on the coaching. Bill Belichick, Matt Patricia, Joe Judge, the special teams coach, and Steve Belichick. Those are the guys that are making the decisions on the sidelines right now. The defensive game plan, what was that? What was that? What? And I said it, I said it before. You have a special teams guy, Joe Judge, and a defensive guy, Matt Patricia, trying to run an offense. I don't blame Mac Jones for being pissed off at all. I don't blame him one bit for being mad. And then it comes out that they were going to use both quarterbacks today, the, the Monday night. Like, Bill, Bill needs to make a decision. Bill needs to make a decision, and they need to stick with it. Like... There's no back, you can't shift back and forth. 
that does nothing for ne either one of those kids' confidence. And Jacoby Myers making comments about the fans, that was a football crowd last night. We weren't falling for any bullshit or any smoke screens. No, we could tell what was going on on the field. They, they went with Mac Jones and they made a wrong choice. They made a wrong choice starting Mac. Zappi should have taken that game from the start. Zappi should have taken that game from the start and they should have just took their fucking lumps, whatever they were. Bad decision on Bill's part. Bad move. Bad decision. And not committing to somebody all week long. Bad decision. Bad. Make a decision and stick to it. It just goes to show that there's no freaking plan. What, like, what are you guys doing? Bill does not look good right now. This team could lose to the Jets. The Jets are not, like I, I reiterated in my last video, the Jets are not a, a bad football team anymore. This is bad. This is, now you, now you have a legitimate, you have a legitimate quarterback controversy now. There is a legitimate quarterback controversy. Who is it? Who is it, Bill? You gotta name somebody. You can't do this in between bullshit. You can't do that. And if Bill doesn't like taking account, if Bill doesn't like taking accountability, you're a head coach, Bill. You're a head coach. Get used to it. This town has high expectations for this team. High expectations. The bar is set high. If you don't like that, then maybe you should get the fuck out of here. You know, that's what winning six championships does. We expect good things. We expect solid football. We expect mistake-free football, fundamentally sound football on a weekly basis. That's what we expect here. We expect to win. <clears throat> Bill has done, Bill's decisions in the off season are starting to affect the team. The decisions made in the off season are starting to affect the team. I don't know where you guys put most of this blame but 65 to 70 percent of it goes to Bill, Matt, Matt Patricia, Joe Judge, and Steve Belichick, the coaching. Bill and his coaching staff get 65 to 70 percent of this L. They do. This was on them. This was a poorly designed game. Poor planning. Just bad. Bad decisions. And people need to start being held accountable. Bill needs to start being held accountable. You gotta win, Bill. You gotta win. You gotta make good decisions. You gotta make good decisions. Seeing some of these players say that they seeing some of these players say that they weren't informed about who was gonna be the starting quarterback until the day of the game? Come on, man. Come on, that wouldn't sit well with anybody. That wouldn't sit well with anyone. Like, come on now. Just bad, bad decision making. Bad decision making, the confidence of both of these kids is gonna be rattled now, you know? Nobody won. The, the, the confidence of both of those kids is gonna be down now. You know, Bailey Zappi should have started that game. Is he is he perfect? No. Does the offense run smoother with him in there right now as of the last two games? Yes. Zappi is seeing the field better and making better decisions with the football. Making better decisions with the football and momentum. Zappi had momentum. Uh, Mac being the starter is one thing. It still could have been his team. You bring him back against the Jets. He clearly wasn't ready. He clearly was not ready. And just bad decisions on defense. The defensive side doesn't escape any of this or the special teams. The, the net punts last night were in the 30s, high 30s. When, is, when was the last time that happened? 
the net punts were in the 30s? What? Jake Bailey was kicking terrible last night. Terrible. People need to be held accountable for that loss. That was awful. That was awful. Everything about watching that. And like I said in the previous video, that was a hostile crowd. They were not happy. We were angry last night. That was an angry fan base. And not angry at one aspect of it. All of it. All of it. That was a horrible showing. From start to finish, they looked awful. Major decisions need to be made. This team needs an offensive coordinator. This team needs a defensive coordinator. Just big, big decisions need to be made. And they need to solidify some of this, some of this, this stuff that is in the up in the air right now. And I mean, if you're looking to direct your a aggravation, I, I, honestly, direct it towards Bill and his staff. Because they did terrible last night. The players didn't play well, but that was a horrible game plan. Horrible. Not good. The fact that some of these players didn't even know who was, who the who the starting quarterback was going to be is inexcusable. Bill, you're the head coach. How do you not how do you not reiterate that? You don't have to talk to the media about it, but at least inform your team. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing about that game yesterday sat well with me. Nothing. And I just, I, the, 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 the whole situation, the whole situation surrounding the team is, is not good. Bill Belichick is very close to losing this locker room. I think it's a lot closer than people think. I think Bill, Bill losing the locker room if they lose the next two games, and if they play like the way they did last night, they will lose the next two games. Bill losing the locker room this year is a real possibility if they don't turn this around. I'm still mad. I'm still mad about all the, the, the just the lack of leadership, the lack of accountability, the, the lack of try, everything. This team better straighten itself out or they're in trouble. But sound off in the comments, guys. And I will catch you again on the next one.